Hey, Taurus, it's your lucky strike. Anything's possible this month for you, Taurus. It's what you've been waiting for. You've got Jupiter, the planet of luck and blessings in your sign, along with the planet Uranus. So beautiful, lucky things can come out of the blue like a strike of lightning, okay? And so this can be an amazing time for you. When it's good, it's gonna be really good. There's gonna be new ideas presenting themselves. You've been waiting for this, Taurus, and this is the time that you've been waiting for. Now, the month of March, you're gonna to wanna to go a little slow. I know all this excitement makes you wanna move forward really fast, but remember it's Pisces season. We only have so many days in Pisces season, by the 19th of the month, we will move into Aries season. So take advantage of this slow time because later you're going to wish you had. All right. Now with Jupiter in your sign and you're already the most beautiful sign, I think, you know, you're associated with jewelry and beautiful meals and gardens and dessert. I just think of flowers. And so there's so much beauty when you get to be a Taurus and you're so lucky to, to be a Taurus. Honestly, I wish I could be a Taurus. It's, it's the sign I wish I could be, but I'm not. So enjoy it. Slow down. It's going to get busier and you know, it wouldn't hurt to buy a lottery ticket. It, you do have Jupiter involved. All right. So let's see what we've got going on for you, Taurus, this big month ahead. What you need to know, I'm using a few different decks here. You can see them. I have the Green Witch Tarot, the Muse, the Herbal Tarot, which is a, a nice deck from Michael Tierra, a famous herbalist. And we're going to use the, self, the Sacred Self-Care Oracle just to see how we can really nurture ourselves this Pisces season, okay? So Taurus, let's see what we've got. I haven't looked at any of these cards yet. And... Let's see what Taurus needs to know. All right, we're starting you off here with the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords here, okay? This is from the Green Witch Tarot. And so there she is, thinking away. She feels very stuck. It looks like the wind's blowing and she's caught up in her mind, okay? And it's an easy place for us humans to get caught up in, all right? So it's starting off acknowledging that you've probably felt stuck for a while. A lot of Tauruses have been feeling that way. So this is the heart of the matter. We have the Three of Wands. And this is a really cool Three of Wands. I like that it looks, feels like a Viking ship to me, but he is contemplating. There's a mermaid on the front of the ship and it's like, she's calling to you and he wants to go. He's thinking about where am I going next? What great journey, what travels are in my future? Okay. So it's very different than the first card. And the first card was kind of reflecting what you need to know. And what you need to know is you're not stuck. You're not contemplating your next move. Okay. And there's a lot of tempting offers for your next move, right? Because like, aren't the mermaids like sirens that call, right? And so be careful what you're being called to make sure that you choose wisely and that you're not just jumping because you're so excited to get an offer. All right. So supporting the heart, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is trotting into town here. The Knight of Pentacles moves pretty slowly. So it's nice to see it finally arriving. All right. And it's arriving for you. So there's things coming. This can be actual monies. This can be things that you've been waiting for for a while. All right. It's arriving. Now your foundation of the reading is the star card. All right. And I mean, you know, the star is a card of hope. And it kind of shows that hard times are over and there's a healing taking place, but it's also called the star. So you've got some star energy, Taurus. So here you go with your foundation being the star. Now, the star's air energy because it's Aquarius and you're being topped and bottomed with air energy. Swords on the top, the star on the bottom. So there's a lot of thinking going on, but you can use that thinking in a more 
helpful way, focusing on how you are shining like a star. Behind the scenes, we have the four of inspiration, the four of wands. It's like a little community there. Connection. Okay, it's very important. And it looks like they're really intent on what their intentions are. Okay. It's coming in next to that three of wands where I said, be careful of all the offers that come in. Be careful of people's intentions. Okay. And you're, you know, trust your feelings on that one. Now, behind the scenes, we also have Yarrow, the Ace of Wands. And so the Ace is something new. Wands is fire. It's passion. It could be a new idea. But Yarrow is really used for wounds. I know that, like, I have a spray, Yarrow spray, that you spray on cuts, right? I'm going to need to spray some on my hand. So, yeah, it's really, really healing. So this healing energy coming in the night of, with the Knight of Pentacles is arriving. And then we have the star, which is also a card of hope and healing. Okay, in the future position, we have the hanged man. This is called the hanged muse. This is from the muse tarot. And this is cool because it would traditionally come in this way, right? I don't do too much with card reversals, but I find sometimes it interesting, especially when the hanged man comes in. And so the hanged muse actually like this looks like she's taking a leap of faith forward. This is a Pisces card. So this is, uh, this is in real time. This is now. And it almost looks like, reminds me of the circus. Like she's being watched. She's on, like she's on camera. Okay. And then along with your future position, you've got the magician here. And I don't, I love the magician. Here he is. And in this deck, he's called Astragalus. Astragalus. I know it's an immune builder. I don't know. I, know that I used to give it to my kids when they were little for immune protection. So the magician's here and he can bring, he can bring lots of gifts. He can bring lots of power. He can bring other people's money to you. He's showing up in your future position. But remember that the, the thing about people's intentions came in a little bit earlier. And when the magician shows up, you know, he can be the trickster too. And sometimes his intentions might not be what you think they are. So please, please, Taurus, trust feeling, okay? I know you're an earth sign and maybe you don't always want to dip into feeling, but you need to trust that gut feeling when it comes to the people that are coming into your life right now. There's a lot of opportunities and a lot of people are full of shit, okay? So so feel your way through it, Taurus, and make good decisions. You're going to have a lot of offers. That's what I'm seeing. All right. So let's pull a couple. We'll start with your self-care oracle. See how you're going to take care of yourself this March. This is such a pretty oracle deck. The sacred self-care. And let's see what you got here. Plan a vacation. All right. So that was kind of coming up with the three of wands here. He's getting thinking about where he wants to go, what he wants to do. So here is plan a vacation in the background. So this can be for the future. It doesn't have to be now, but it might be a good time to take a look at. Maybe you have some credit card points. Maybe you, maybe you even enter a contest because you got luck on your side right now. So there's planning a vacation. And that planning can also mean saving. Okay. And you've got make a meal. And you Tauruses usually love the arts. There's a lot of artsy energy to Taurus, I think. And usually they like food. So make a meal. Make some meal plans, um, take care of yourself, enjoy this quieter time during Pisces season because I don't get the impression that it's going to be quiet for you long. I don't even really think it's going to be quiet for you during Pisces season, actually, but you're going to have to make some conscious choices for rest. All right, let's see what the dice have to say. And we've got Venus in the sign of Cancer. Oh. Is that Venus? Hold on. 
Nope, it's Mars. Mars in the sign of Cancer in the first house. Okay, Mars is how you take action. Cancer is a watery, watery, intuitive sign. First house is Mars's house. It's Aries. And so there's a lot of newness to this. There's a lot about taking action, but taking action to nurture yourself. And there's a lot of fresh energy, fresh ideas. And I think it's going to be even more accentuated for you when we get into Aries season, which begins this month, or yeah, March 19th, a little on the earlier side this month. Okay, so then I want you to pay attention to when the moon is in the sign of Cancer going to be a good time for you. And I would also pay attention to when it's in the sign of Aries because you got a lot of Mars energy available. So we know that the moon will be in the sign of Aries starting on the evening of Sunday, the 10th of March into the 11th, 12th until the evening, 8.30 on the 12th Eastern time. So then we want to look and see when is it in the sign of cancer. This is another power time for you. But it's going to be there the 18th, the 19th on the spring equinox on Ostara. And into, I think, just the evening that day. Okay, so you got some power days there. Themes of cancers. Themes of Aries. So keep out for cancers and Aries in your life right now. They're going to play a significant role. Don't be afraid to redefine yourself right now. All right. Thinking about where you want to go, what you want to do. There's a great healing coming on. There's a lot of opportunities for you. Please do not feel that you're stuck. It's easy to feel that right now. And it's kind of because you kind of have been stuck. But that part's ending now. So if you need to plan a vacation for, I think it's for later. I don't think it's like for right away. But if you plan it, it might give you a little bit of a feeling of, hey, I'm not as stuck as I think I am. Okay. So thank you, Taurus. Have a wonderful month of March.